this whole area is littered with uh, castles, old monasteries, Greek remains and archaeological sites, not to mention wonders of nature and snow-capped peaks. But the present plan is to see if we can find our way up over this lot to the motorway and work our way down here seeing what we can and end up tonight at uh, Sibari. Right, we're uh, just setting off now on Sunday morning. Looks like we might face with a bit more fog up there. Right, so we've more or less come up here like this now. Now stuck on the edge of a ledge. I hope it's fixed on properly. We're in uh, sort of the centre of Merit here. And up there of course you can see the clouds. I don't know if we're going to get into them very shortly. Up there. Right, here we go again. After a brief and uh, unplanned visit to the local recreation centre and sports ground, that is, Hello there, have you been a good boy? We well, suddenly seem to join a more major road back there, it's quite wide this. Um, seems to be going downhill already, which is a bit disappointing. I was looking forward to going top in there in the clouds. I suppose we're heading towards the Centro Storico. I have no idea which yeah. Centro Storico, incidentally. Just on another hairpin and there's the top of the mountain so I can't be much further. Just an excuse to drive up this mountain road I think. Well, we spoke too soon there. I turned uh, another hairpin and there's another mountain here. Right, so we've been going for miles. We seem to be going downhill. I think I must be on the wrong way and we've run into the clouds anyway. So, found this little place I can pull off out and get it back out onto the road now and go back. Right, got out of there, so we're on our way back down this hill now. Clubbing rocks. Oh, yeah, missed that one. Rocks all over the place, some of them quite big. Oh. It's so easy to get on the wrong road round here. But, uh, I think I've had my fill of uh, mountain passes for now. Now I saw a sign for the A3 somewhere down here. I think I'll see if I can find that. The A3 that is... Yes, that looks promising. Turn right to the A3. Simple enough. Well, these roads we're on at the moment are too bad now. You get roads like this round Halifax. saying now, beware of uh, snow. Have your snow change ready. I don't know if I've got any. I wonder if that's the air through there, that bridge. Oh, we seem to be coming up to the motorway here. I don't think we're pay on this section, but I don't know. Service station had a coffee, 
I'm going to try filling up now. It says con servicio. I hope there is uh, with service because I don't know whether this is petrol or diesel. I hope he does. Now, this is a little parking area just at the edge of the motorway where at least we can get a bit of a view without it whizzing past the windscreen. Oh, it's sunny over there, but I still haven't seen any snow capped peaks. Another gallery, I'm coming up with a gallery, I don't know which one it is really. So, we've uh, found the motorway up over there, we're coming down here, and for our first stop, we'll try and find Morano. Which is actually there, so we're coming down this road hopefully. There we hope to see a Norman castle. The motorway here and we're going up to uh, Morano, 12 kilometers. Just up there aren't too many hairpins on the fill of those. Now quickly while well, there's no traffic, look a snow capped peak. tops the hill. So there you are, built before Roach Abbey. Norman Cat probably. The newer parts of this town have spread down into the valley there but up on this hill there are two churches. This one here says built in the 11th century so that was probably built by the Normans as well and the other one is uh, newer but as I say also up on this hill. I wonder if this was uh, built by Robert Giscard or probably more likely in this area by Roger the Great Count. Our next stop is not too far away, just really down this road to there which is uh, Castro Villery. <laughs> 